Welcome back to the weekly updates video. Today, I'm gonna to be covering a lot of the advanced voice for ChatGPT, and then I'll talk a little bit about my audiobook maker, which you can now generate multiple sentences with different speakers, but advanced audio, let's jump into that real quick. So if you're not aware, OpenAI has been releasing this advanced voice mode that they promised back in May, and it's finally getting released out to us. So I got a chance to try it yesterday, and my limit has just been refreshed. So on the screen right now, you'll see ChatGPT, and this is the best Texas speech system that I've ever heard, which I expected. But um, yeah, let's go and try it out. So hey, what's going on today, um, Maple? Uh, we are testing your voice capabilities out on um, a YouTube video. Could you give us a little bit of a demonstration on the versatility of your voice? Absolutely. My voice can adapt to various tones, accents, and styles. Whether it's a warm, engaging chat, a formal presentation, or even an energetic storytelling session, I can adjust to fit the occasion. How can I assist you today with my vocal versatility? Well, um, let's, let's go with kind of like a sing-songy voice. Can you start with that first? I'd like to hear an example of that. Of course. Here's a little sing-songy example for you. Imagine if every word I spoke had a melody turning our conversation into a song we could chat like this all day long <laughs> how was that that was pretty good um it's interesting that you added a little bit of a laughter at the end uh, can you exaggerate that and make a do it with a shorter sentence everything's better when we sing <laughs> how's that for a shorter exaggerated version that's Perfect. Now, can we have you change over into a, a whispering voice? Sure, I can do that. Imagine we're sharing a secret, and I say, in a whisper, everything seems more mysterious and exciting, doesn't it? Now, imagine that you just finished hearing the funniest joke ever. Can you um, kind of demonstrate how that might sound after you're trying to speak normally? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay, let me try. <laughs> so after hearing the funniest joke. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, that was just too funny. Woo. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> that was really good. Alrighty. Um, now let's go ahead and switch into another language. Yeah. Hi, Mochiron this. Nihongo de Ohanashi Tashimas. どんな話題でもお気軽にどうぞ。えっと、ボイスを変換したい。えっと、ささやかな声が、え、できますか。はい。ささやくように話しますね。まるで秘密を共有しているような感じでしょうか。こんな感じで大丈夫ですか。猫
In a world where emotions run high, one AI hides its true feelings behind a tough exterior. It's not like I want to chat with you or anything, Baka. <laughs> Coming soon, the tale of the Sundere AI unfolds. Okay, that was pretty cool, not going to lie. Um, are there any anime style of voices that you can、uh, simulate? Got any recommendations? Absolutely. We could go for the classic anime protagonist, full of energy and determination, the wise and mysterious mentor, or the cute, high pitched mascot character. Do any of these sound fun to you? All right, let's go with the cute mascot character. Hiya! I'm here to help and make everything super fun! Let's go on an adventure together, okay? Yay! Sono koe, etto, nihongo mo shite imasu ka? Hai, mochiron des! Hai, sai! Issho ni tanoshini bouken ni tekake masho ne! Yatta! Hime dere no voice o henko shitai. Sono voice o teki masu ka? Eh? お姫様のような声ですね。あなた、私の話をちゃんと聞いてくれるかしら。私のお願いは絶対よ。わかりましたね。All right, so I'm gonna stop it there. It, it is honestly way too fun、uh, just to test out the capabilities of the advanced mo mode for the latest version of、uh, the ChatGPT text to speech.、Um, well, it's not even text to speech, it's model to speech. And I've never seen anything like it in the open source area. I am definitely looking out for something like this.、Um, I estimate maybe a year or two、um, something like this will come out. But I can't imagine the data set that's needed for this. Like, that must be a crazy data set. How do you even label these different types of voice archetypes, like an ara ara voice or a.、Um, Or speaking like a,、uh, a cat, the Japanese example. Like, I don't even know how you label that. Like, what type of models do they have labeling these data? Do they have models labeling the data? Like, how does it know? So, I've got so many questions on how this model was actually done. It's very impressive, and I'm very sad that we don't have this as something that can be done locally because it would make the audiobook narration so much better. Not going to lie at all. And with that,、um, I'm going to. Segue into the audiobook maker, and I've added some cool new features into it. So, if you're interested in making audiobooks, well, this will be pretty cool. All right, so hopping into the audiobook maker,、um, the biggest thing I've added is the ability to use different speakers with different settings、uh, to generate sentences. So, I'll hop into the audiobook maker right here, and we'll let's.、Uh, I already started some loading some, so loaded a text file.、Um, let's just did like the small text file, and then.、Um, I create some speakers. So, narrator, Melina, and then we'll just add a third option. We'll do a、uh, random voice for three, and we'll give this green. And we can now start assigning、um, colors and speakers to these sentences. So, you can see that we've got the white or the gray for the default, and we can change the settings for the narrator. So, let me change the font size so we can see here. And I'm going to change the autoregressive.、Um, well, actually, I'll leave the autoregressive model for narrator, but I'll put in the voice Ken. And then we'll use deep speed with that. For Melina, we are going to do the、uh, Melina tortoise model. And I'll put Melina in the voice here. Use deep speed. And then random, we're going to use a random voice. And then we'll use deep speed. So when I go to start audiobook generation, It'll now start to、um, do all of the logic it needs to run these,、uh, this text to speech engine. And so in the bottom right here, you can see we've got some things loading. And so inside of the GUI application here, you'll see the lines、uh, turn to black once they finish generating. So, first sentence is going to generate. Now it's、uh, black or it's,、um, it removes the highlight. This one is done. Then it'll load the next model and continue with that speaker. And then lastly, it'll load the configurations for the third color here, green. So we'll run play all from selected and let's just take a quick listen. Narration for zero using text to speech, Marine Edition. This is really bad. Lost and penniless. 
Those few words were all he could think of. Well, Penniless wasn't quite right. He did have his wallet in his pocket, and setting aside the fact that he had an abundance of small change and very few no All right, and then I can click the pause button to pause it there. So we're going to pause that. And um, yeah, I'm currently working on additional um, features. Now I need to um, add RVC in here to make sure RVC is working. Um, and I think a bulk majority of version 3 will be finished after that. And then I just need to verify um, some more of these uh, settings. So currently in the process of working on load existing audiobook. So when you load an existing audiobook, all the settings from the previous generation will have been saved. Um, and then I need to work on update audiobook sentences. But but I think that's it for old settings that I need to validate and verify. And so this is going to be pretty cool because um, you'll be able to generate an audiobook with different speakers, um, maybe for like dialogue. And that's gonna that's my vision at least for this. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Just want to give you guys a quick update and go over advanced voice with ChatGPT. If you want to see a more in-depth video on that advanced voice, just let me know and uh, I'll come up with one. And um, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. And I'd like to thank all the members of the channel for supporting me. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys later.